Dear listeners, good morning and welcome to Comme d'Archi, the podcast that opens the doors to the fascinating world of architecture. For newcomers, let me introduce myself. I'm the spokesperson of Anne-Charlotte Despont, PhD in History of Architecture, published author, head of a communication and development agency based in Paris, France, dedicated to architecture. Let's meet every week to discuss culture and architecture with specialists and learn how to look at projects through a context and diversity lens. To offer you the best content, Philippe Henri, sound engineer, is at the technical helm of the podcast. Thank you for being with me today, and now it's time for talent. Bienvenue dans Comme d'Archi. Bonjour David Roulin. Bonjour. Vous représentez aujourd'hui. Hello David Roulin. You represent today Art and Build, a European architecture agency based in Brussels, Paris, Luxembourg which has been operational for 30 years. You are now asserting your skills through centers of excellence that give your firm an identity and give a singularity to each project that is entrusted to it. The dialectic conveyed by art and construction is a reflection of your DNA. It implies a creative and methodological synthesis imbued with freedom and performance, perspective thinking and construction, and risk-taking as well. In 2012, you won a public procurement competition for the construction of the Opalia building, located in the 13th arrondissement of Paris, Porte d'Ivry, a boldly designed building that challenges construction and was intended to grow in concept. It is exemplary. It is made of wood. Delivered in 2017, you have had time over the last three years to draw up an initial assessment of both the technology and the value and use of this building. I understand that it has established itself as a model. I would like to briefly describe it for our listeners. Its facade develops on the street side like a ribbon that unfolds over the corner it occupies. The appearance is mineral, but the eye quickly realizes that the main facade material is wood. On the interior side of the block, the building opens up to the garden and envelops it, echoing the wood of the facade. Can you tell us about this adventure? Yeah, o Opalia is indeed a great adventure, but also a stepstone in the history of our practice. In 2011, one of our clients, a Belgian developer, is interested in a very small plot of land located Avenue de la Porte d'Ivry in the 13th district of Paris. The SEMAPA, which organizes the land development in this area, requires the developer to organize a competition with three architects of his choice. The land is particularly difficult, very narrow, on a corner, with a close residential building. Above all, the plot is against the ring road, suffering from noise and air pollution from thousands of cars every hour. In addition, to meet the developer needs in terms of square meters to build, it was necessary to go up in height, but the urban planning rules imposed to work the volume with bleachers. This is typically the kind of challenge that inspires us. We felt there was an opportunity to propose a bold solution, especially since the environmental specifications drawn up by Franck Boutet Consultant were very ambitious. At this point in time, we have been studying timber construction for several years, using cross-laminated timber as a virtuous alternative to conventional construction methods. We therefore proposed a project made entirely of wood, eight levels high, which had never been done in France at that time, with a ventilated double skin facade made of glass along the ring road to protect the building from the sun and the pollution. Dominique Alba, who oversaw urban planning in Paris, was seduced by our approach. I still remember his conversation with the developer, asking him to commit to building in mass timber which forced him to go outside his comfort zone. Then the development and construction of the project was an exciting learning process, which is fully part of this adventure. Especially, we learned that the intelligent combination of materials was a condition for the successful development of that type of project. Each material has its qualities and weaknesses, and these must be used wisely. For example, to optimize the free height under the ceiling, we combine wood floor panels with metal beams. In any case, we were able to demonstrate with that project the many virtues of timber construction. Low carbon footprint, of course, 
integration of biosourced construction materials, speed of execution on site thanks to prefabrication, advantages of prefabrication over the painfulness of the workers on site, well-being of the occupants, the biophilic impact on our organism due to the perception of naturalness, light, plants, materials, the ability of the building to evolve over time. One of the hypotheses we illustrated in the competition was what the building will become when the ring road no longer exists or is covered. The building had to be able to be reassigned or dismantled for full recycling. The Opalia building is now occupied by the DCPA, the Public Buildings and Architecture Authority of the City of Paris. We also organized a survey of the occupants to define furthermore the notion of well-being and impact on productivity, and the results were very encouraging. Retrospectively, our greatest satisfaction is that we have succeeded in transforming an ungrateful and unattractive site into a peaceful place in which the occupants enjoy coming to work. Above all, our intuition that the time had come for the world of real estate and construction to undergo a paradigm shift was later verified, given the numerous achievements in timber construction that are developing today in France. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Don't forget to tune in to our previous content on Instagram at Comdarchi Podcast. If you like it, make sure to promote the podcast by giving it five stars on Apple Podcast and adding a comment or on any of your favorite podcast platforms. And don't forget to subscribe and listen to all of our episodes for free. See you soon. And until then, take care of yourself. <laughs>